Hey everyone, this is Steve from Taxopress. Taxopress is the plugin that you can use to organize all of the content on your site. It helps you manage tags, categories, all of your terms, all of your taxonomies. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the auto links feature. What this does, it will automatically add links to your content. So if you have a term called WordPress in your content, this feature will automatically find any examples of WordPress in your content and link to the full archive page, which contains all of the content on your site that has the term WordPress. That may be a little bit confusing when it comes to an explanation. So follow along with me in this video and I'll show you how it works. Auto links is one of the links in the TaxoPress menu after you've installed it. And we have an example set up for you already. So if you install TaxoPress, look for the auto links option in the menu and click edit. So you can decide some key things about this particular example. You can decide which content this is going to apply to. It will be posts, pages, or any other post types that you have installed on your site. And under the general tab, you can decide which taxonomies are going to be linked. In this particular example, I have some tags that I'm going to use. So I'm going to change this taxonomy to tags. And then there's a couple of fine details that you can change. For example, if the tag is WordPress, then do you want to have WordPress with a capital W and a capital P? Do you care if it's all lowercase? You can change some of those settings there. You can decide which parts of your content are analyzed. You can decide what people see when they hover over a link. And there are some other more advanced settings available for you here, including the ability to skip over certain areas. For example, you may not want links automatically included in headings or in code samples. And so the key things to decide are going to be your content and your taxonomy. And you can come back and tweak some of the other settings later. So let me give you an example of what we're looking for. Under posts and tags, I have golf, movies, and TV, which are set up as tags on the site. And in this example, I have a post about the Wimbledon tennis tournament. If I click on the view link for this post, I'm going to see that some of the words in the content are automatically linked. There's golf, there's movies, and there's TV. These are tags that I have on my site. And if I click on them, I'm going to be automatically taken to the tags page for this particular term. It's going to show all of the posts and perhaps pages and other content on the site that have this particular term attached to them. This happens with TV. It happens with movies. It happens with any term that appears in the content. And so what Autolinks does is it drives traffic to related pages. So these are pages that can really rank well for search engine optimization on your site. And if you increase the number of links to them, then Google is more likely to rank those pages. So this is a very useful feature for increasing traffic on your site and also giving people useful links. If they're interested in any of these topics, they'll be able to click and find out more posts on that topic. If you don't see any links in your content, I'd recommend going back to the dashboard, go to TaxoPress and Auto Links, and double check some of the settings. For example, you may want to check the box Add Links for Unattached Terms. By default, TaxoPress is only going to add auto links for terms that are actually attached to the post. If you check this box, then it's going to add links even if they aren't attached to the post. So you may get content that's perhaps a little more random or maybe is not quite as associated with the post that people are looking at. 
One other tip I would give you is if you do have a lot of content, long posts with a lot of keywords, then you may want to click on the control option and you can set a minimum term usage. So you're only linking to terms that are actually used and are popular on your site. This is set to one by default, but you might want to set this to, for example, 10. So you don't have all the small random terms being linked to. You can also set a maximum number of links per post. So this means that if you do have a lot of keyword rich content, that your posts are full of links, you can set this to a maximum number. And these settings do allow you to tweak and make auto links more useful. And then finally, if it's really not processing for you at all, under advanced, you can tweak some of these settings. You can change the priority of where TaxoPress loads the auto links. And you can also switch to the old version by unchecking this box, which may under some circumstances make TaxoPress work with auto links where it hasn't been working before. But overall, Auto links is a really useful feature to help you improve the search engine optimization on your site and to make links of all the good tags, categories, and terms that you've added. If you want to find out more about TaxoPress, head over to taxopress.com. You'll find it a really useful tool for optimizing and organizing the content on your site.